Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Anthony here at The Breakout Daily. Thank you guys for tuning in. We have, once again, 25 graded books. Back from CGC, we're going to talk about the grades. We're going to talk about the books. You're going to want to stay tuned. Guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. I'm Anthony. This is The Breakout Daily. We talk a lot about comic books, conditions, CGC grading. We've got a lot of really cool things going on here at The Breakout Daily, so make sure and hit that subscribe button. As promised, we're going to go through these books as we traditionally do. Now, a couple of things I want to keep in mind. I mentioned this in my last video, and I think the proof is in the pudding with these books. Now, CGC's turnaround, turnaround time at the beginning of 2023 has been super fast. I'm sending books every week, every other week, and I have had submissions get there on Monday, the grading process start Tuesday, and they're shipped by Thursday. Absolutely staggering times. And that is under modern tier, nothing's fast tracked. Now, a couple of things to note, I am an elite member with CGC. We are going to be doing some videos talking about how CGC works from a user in a submission uh, setting. And I'm going to walk you guys through that in a future video. But you need to understand that while it is absolutely stunning to get the books back in that time, I honestly believe at this point that it is suffering with quality issues. Now, a couple of case in points, 25 books we're going to go over today. Of those 25, there are varying grades. I got zero graders notes. I have no clue why we got the grades that we got today. And that in itself is a bit of an issue. Now, we're going to start off with these. I'm going to, I'm going to go through these a little quicker than I traditionally do. I have not pulled these out. In fact, um, this is going to be a fairly quick video because I'm going to pull them. We're going to talk and then we're going to run through as fast as we can. There are some definitely cool books in here. Um, however, there are also some surprises as there are what it seems like in almost every single unboxing. Now, some of these, as mentioned before, let me get a smaller note here. I think it's huge. Um, as mentioned before, the expectation isn't to get crazy um, nine eights on everything. That's not my expectation. We're going to kick it off with an example. This book I'm pulling out is What If 49, a classic, classic um, cover. And I really do love this cover. Now, this book did have a very minor and subtle defect. It had like the start of a tick. Um, it laid very flat white pages and overall is a gorgeous book. Now, what I call, I was not expecting a 9.8 on this book. This thing actually has some scuffing on it. Um, I wasn't expecting a 9.8 on this book because between the, the beginning of the tick there, it has very, very faint and light wear at the lower of the book. Outside of that, the, the back and the front are very nice looking. What did we get on What If the Silver Surfer Possessed the Infinity Gauntlet? Bam, we got an 8.5. Now, I have had many 8.5s at this point. This is, once again, the best looking 8.5 I have ever seen. Um, in my opinion, with as many books that I've had graded at this point, this should have been at minimum a 9.2, possibly a 9.4. Um, with just being in consistency with what I've seen from other grades. There is no defects that warrant, in my opinion, a nine or an eight, five on that book. Very, very strange. Um, and here's another common thread. Again, we don't have graders notes and I don't want to sit here and harp on this because I am starting to feel like that's all I talk about in these videos, but I just am blown away by just what I'm seeing. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one from 2011. This is the second printing. No ticks on the front, no ticks or rub on the back. 
beautiful book. Nice sharp corners. Let's see what we got on this guy. 9'6". Um, yeah, no noticeable defects at all. But yeah, I'm not kind of taken back on that one. And you're going to see, you're going to see, I guess, if anything, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of consistency between the, the grades to some degree, but not with the books. It's very weird. The boys introductory price seven. You guys are familiar with this book. I've graded quite a few. I've shared most of them. Um, Tyler Kirkham battle damage. This is a facsimile or reprint of the boys. Number seven, which is a really cool key, super cool cover. This is the trade dress. This was produced, uh, in conjunction with whatnot. What did we get on this book? Bam, we got a 9-8. Okay, again, but if, if I were to put this book and the <clears throat> Red Hood side by side on a table, raw, I guarantee you would expect 9-8 candidates on both. Um, and again, you know, generally you'll see like a tick or a tick in print or something that indicates a 9-6. So the next one is the boys... Um, black and white. So this is limited to 500 copies. This is issue number three. Billy the Butcher, Battle Damage. Let's see what we got on this. 9-6. Now this 9-6, as I pulled it out, I did notice. Okay, so this one has a very, 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 very light indent on the spine. Which... I mean, I guess they can call that a 9.6. So I'm not sure if this is a new grader thing or what is going on um, with the inconsistencies of grades um, or the inconsistencies of where these books are. Um, but let's keep going. All right, the next one, this one, uh, this one hurt a little bit. And so did some of these other books, so... This is, I have had a couple of copies of this. This is Blade the Vampire Hunter, number one from 1994. Look at that thing. This thing is super freaking clean. And I am like not kidding. I have no clue why this is a 9.6. I mean, the front, I know it's, it's, you're not gonna be able to see it, but this thing is so sharp. It is intense on why this is, there's no, there's no ticks. There's no spine stress at all, which is ridiculous. Um, sharp corners. And it was just like, no, we're not giving them a nine, eight. That's how I start to feel. And I say that without telling you, we got a nine, six on it, unfortunately. And I'm just taken back. I still have no clue on why. This is uh, why this is a 9.6. Now, another thing I do want to warn you about is there has been a lot of uh, edge cracking coming straight from CGC. So, again, make sure and check your slabs because you have to send them back. I think it's within five days of receiving now, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so like this book in my hand that I'm about to show you has the edge crack in it. And it's very unfortunate because I have to leave tomorrow and now I have to figure this out. This is uh, DMZ number one, another gorgeous copy of this book. It's from 2006 from DC slash Vertigo, first appearance of Matthew Roth and Z. The show was featured and I don't know if they're doing season two. It was a good show though. I really enjoyed it. And what did we get? White cover, as you can see, bam, this is a 9.8. I do need to put this book to the side because it has a visible line crack and it's hard to see. I don't know if I, I don't know if it'll pick up there, but it's right there on this line, right there, and it's just a hairline crack. But it's there, and that is the most common. I have several books with that exact <laughs> that exact crack in it for whatever reason. So let me put this book to the side. 
because that needs to go back and let me verify this one real quick. Um, yeah, the blade was not, was just, I don't know. It's so freaking nice. All right, this next one, let's take a look at this one. This one, yeah, okay, this one did. Okay, so I was, this one I was not expecting and that I need it on. I was praying for it. Master of the Universe number one, guys, Image Comics. This is from 2002. It is a really cool wraparound cover. J. Scott Campbell art. This is also the incre or Invincible preview is in this book. I thought that was super cool. This one also has the same exact crack. I don't know. Maybe I won't return. I don't know. It has the same exact little crack right there on the side. Exact same location. It's got to be a case, some kind of case sealing issue. And the bad part is um, I have sold books with that on it. And I fully disclose it does not mess with the book. Um, and most are very, very, very hard to see. This one, again, no greater notes. I was laughing and I, I shouldn't be because this is crazy to me. This is a uh, Hawkeye from 2017. Sharp corners. Does have very, very light. Oops. Let's, uh, where are we at here? A very, very light rub right there. No visible ticks. Nope. Hawkeye number one. This is uh, the, f I believe this is the first full, so yeah, first full solo series for Kate Bishop. What did we get? Bam, a 9-0. I mean, definitely a 9-0 on this one. Um, it's in horrible condition. No visible ticks. Little tiny bit of wear on the back is definitely a 9-0. That's how I should start doing these videos. Mind, again, is blown. I have seen so many examples of 9-4s and 9-2s standard that are in way, way worse condition than that. But who am I? I am not a professional grader. I uh, obviously am taken back. I'm just moving some of these books, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mind blown. Let's do this next one, though. Keep up with this. Um, this is another fairly big book. Super stoked I got this book. Um, another Battle Damage is Invincible number one, Omni Man Color. Freaking wicked ass book from 2022 trade dress. Again, sponsored by whatnot. This uh, reprints Invincible One. Super popular book, especially with fans of Invincible. What did we get? Bam, a 9 8 on this guy. Again, another super clean book. Um, that's it was, so one of the hard parts, and I'll just be completely honest, is. When I review these books and I do full inspections, sometimes, you know, it'll have a tick and I'm like, okay, well, I'll wing it. That should be a minimum. It should be a nine and six. One tick or or the start of a tick consistently should be a nine six. And it's nothing is consistent right now. Nothing. That Hawkeye, the uh, Silver Surfer, what if is I would if I uncrack those, they would sell as near mints to 99% of people, if not 100%. Um, this is Deadpool number one, first appearance of T-Ray, Blind Al, Sasquatch, Zoe, uh, Colidon, Noah Dubois appearances, wraparound cover. You guys know this is the first full solo series with Deadpool on it. Um, super cool book, super clean book. This was one, another one that had um, a light indentation. This is what I'm talking about. So this book, I was expecting a 9.6. This is where it gets weird to me. This to me is pretty much the standard where it has like a visible defect that's not crazy, but a very light defect, 9.6. And that is what it is. So this, when you compare it to some of the other books, it's like, okay, this is generally what the standard is or what I've seen as a standard. And then you go off into the weeds with some of these other books. And I'm like, are they just not? They're like, no, I can't give the guy too many nine eights. I don't know. All right, this next one. And you're going to see a big theme in this series of books I'm running. Another Tyler Kirkham battle damage. 
Um, this actually sat in a box for quite a while. This is from uh, 522. That is the Punisher number one battle damage. Let me check these. I got to check these cases while we do this. I'm shooting this right before I leave, so I got to pull anything that needs to be returned. What did we get on this book? Bam! Super cool artwork once again, falling in that battle damage uh, mantra that Mr. Tyler Kirkham does. All right. But again, the, the only thing that irks me is the inconsistencies between books when you can line one book right next to the other and it's wildly different grades. It's off by a half a half a point or 0.7 versus a very, very close grade. Here's another one. This easily could have been a different grade, but uh, it's Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, 1, the Mark Brooks variant. I believe that was an incentive, super clean book. Um, it has one baby baby hair rub on the back other than that there's no ticks nice nice and tight corners i believe this was an incentive cover what did we get on the cosmic ghost rider bam another nine six so there it is and this also has the same exact airline cracking and that's the other part like so now I've got to send back my last order I had to send back several books this order if I want to get perfect cases I'm already up to three books so that's also not good business so it's like if I have to send back all these books are you guys gonna like kick you know throw me something now everything's got to be I've got to wait a month for my books to return this one um Green Lantern, Volume 3, Number 51. This is a newsstand, a hard book to find. Um, I was not expecting, uh, just to be clear, I was not expecting a 9-8 on this book. Um, do I agree with this grade that I got? Not, nah. No, I can possibly see where they're coming. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I don't know. Green Lantern 51, though. This is a first appearance of Kyle Rayner's new costume. Um, Green Lantern, you're going to see a lot of DC keys coming into these boxes. It is a newsstand from 1994. The back is nice. It did have one tick that I just could not get out. Oh, no, I guess maybe it did have two. So maybe I'm wrong in grade. It had two ticks. Um, the back is freaking very clean. Newsstand. What did we get? Nine, two. I feel like it's a little tough, though. I just feel like it is a little tough. Still a really cool book though. Any newsstands that you can get 90s and above, obviously the further up in the years you go, um, a bit harder it is to find them. So I always find that, always find that really cool, especially stuff in the mid 90s, keys, especially DC or Marvel. Talking about DC, here is another one. This is Justice League 31, first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. Let's see what we got going on with this book. Um, check the case real quick. So this one, I have no clue why, at least from, from cover to cover, the interiors in all these books are immaculate. Um, let's see what we got on this guy. Bam, a nine six. Um, no visible defects. There's no no spine stress. Actually, this has got like one of the nicest spines and corners I've ever seen. There is nothing on this book. And what's funny is this cover has a touch of gloss. Oh wait, no, maybe I'm wrong. No, it's not a spine tick. There is a tiny, tiny indentation. So I will accept the 9.6 on that. It was right in the black and it had to hit the light. just perfect for me to catch that. Next one. Um, this one's really interesting. Again, no graders notes, guys. This one, um, 
I was not expecting a 98 on. I, I wasn't. I bought it knowing that I bought this from a shop in Vegas. Um, a bit taken back on the grade. Uh, it does it so it did have a indent on it with the very start of a uh, tick on it and then it had very very light staple rub on the back you guys know this book Batman 635 right first Jason Todd is Red Hood Mr. Freeze and Black Mask appearance I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see you probably can't very 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 tiny rub on it big book what did we get a 9L. So, and we could sit here and I'm not going to run the video this long, that long. I got to hurry up, actually. This has been comparable to others. So I'm going to just grab some books because we got a lot to go through. And I don't want to run too long. This one, this next one, I was not happy with. Um, I'm, I don't understand this. There's no ticks. Beautiful, beautiful book. Um, lays flat. Oh, it has a small indentation on the bottom. This is uh, Haunt number one. I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the book. This is a gold foil Haunt. So it does have a very tiny indentation. I don't know. I don't believe it was sent that way, but it has one. This also... Fuck, man. This sucks because this also has a freaking hairline crack. So, And I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to send it within my five days. So I may have to call them. Um, because that one also has that stupid crack on the seal. So, all right, next one, we're going to speed it up a little. This one, mine's blown. Again, no graders notes. Blade number one from 1998. This is my second copy of this book. Nice, tight corners. Oh, maybe there's like a light rub right there. Is that what that is? I don't, I don't know. Back is perfect. Um, I, there is no defects on the back of this book, guys. The spine is tight. I have no clue. There's like a very, very hair hair rub there, and it's an A5. There is no, there's no rubs or anything on the back of this. There's no spine ticks. There's no spine ticks on the front. There's it lays flat, and it's an A5. So. Again, I'll end up cracking that one. I, that'll just go into a Ross that I have. I'm just taking back. Next one is uh, another Battle Damages, Invincible number two, Tyler Kirkham. Reprints, Invincible number two. That we did get a 9-8 on. So again, I'm going to just try to speed it up a little here. Um, again, no visible defects. So... It, I would like to pinpoint where the goofiness is coming in because it's just so, again, it's so inconsistent where it's like, what, what are the defects? This is a gorgeous copy of Swamp Thing 50, Deadman, Dr. Fate, Spectre, Demon Appearance. It is an anniversary issue. Justice League Dark cameo. Um, it did have a very, like a very light couple of spots. I don't want to say spine ticks because they're not necessarily ticks. It's just, um, I guess I should have pressed it. I didn't think it necessarily needed it, but they give me a 9 L. All just, it's a nice ass book. This is just going to go on the PC because I can always crack and resubmit a book like this. Um, let's see, do we got any more? We got one more book and then we got some um, custom labels. Next one, um, let me look at this. I thought there was something up with this book. Maybe a, a very, 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 very minor blunt in that bottom corner, and that is it. Um, very weird on this one. This is uh, from 2000. This is Harley Quinn number one right here. First full solo series, first Harley Quinn in her own title. Gorgeous book. Big, like, I don't even know what the fuck you would call that. No ticks, nice tight corners. This case has crazy scuffing on it. Um, Obviously a 9.6. So I do feel like some of these, I get it. I, I can see the defects. Those I agree 100% with. Okay, 
if there is one minor or subtle defect, 9.6. The non-visible ones where I have seen full, full visi- fully visible defects on many, many 9.8s, it just makes me kind of scratch my head and wonder uh, about that. That's, that's where it catches me. Like I said many times over, I'll own up. If I see the defects while we're doing it live, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Again, not everything in there was supposed to be a 9.8. This is um, this one I was definitely not expecting. This one I was, yeah, this is what I was not expecting on this book. Um, I grabbed this book last minute and just threw it in the pile because I was like, I want to do some custom labels. And I, I haven't done this one yet, and I want to do it. This one has spine stress. This is what I'm talking about. This has spine stress. And it is the ultimate fallout for facsimile by Mike Mayhew. Gorgeous book, but it has spine stress on it. The condition of this book is not as nice of condition as it is with the other book. And it makes me wonder, is it because the guys that are doing custom labels, is that a different department? Um, Well, we'll see. Because again, not that they're showing the ticks, but then we go to the next book, another ultimate fallout for facsimile and it is the John Boy Myers Virgin and this also has just like a light stress point the book that I just showed has more stress points um, or no excuse me it has two and I'm not sure where that came from but they gave us a freaking 9-2 on that one um, yeah both of those books went in last minute this is always a cool book to get. Spider-Man number one, Silver Edition from 1990. Custom logo on that guy. That was a 9.8. One of the few 9.8s I got on this submission. Gorgeous book. Um, oh shit, I got to check. They start talking and I forget to check the, uh, check the edge. We got two more books to go. This one, I feel like they could have given me a 9.8 on all day. They did not. There's no ticks. This is a very, very nice copy of this book. That is Amazing Spider-Man 569. Freaking wicked-ass cover. No rub on the back. Again, just a super, super clean book. This is when Eddie Brock Brock becomes anti-venom. Super cool book. Undervalued, I feel like. I just looked this up and I was taken back. John Romita Jr. cover. First anti-venom. And the last book... This is uh, another one I was not expecting. A the grade that I got. This is Ultimate Fantastic Four, number one. It did have a, like edge stress. Nothing crazy, but it did have a little bit of edge stress. And that's short, really sharp copy, guys. No rub on the back. Super clean book. Nine two. So that concludes this CGC order, guys. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. I still feel as though um, that the grading process is quite inconsistent from book to book. Today, there was many examples. If you were to crack these and look at them or even leave them in the CGC holder, looking at one book to the next, the 9.0s don't match, the 9.0s, the 9.6s don't match, the 9.8s don't match. So it's very, very apparent that there is something going on as far as consistency from one book to the next with grading. Now, with that being said, we're going to keep doing these videos. We've got a ton of really cool videos that are going to be in the works soon, guys. Again, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm Anthony. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, checking out the Breakout Daily here on YouTube. Make sure and check us out over on Instagram at breakperiod.daily and, of course, on the WhatNot app at Breakout Daily. Guys, We will catch you in the next video.